Yeah, hi everyone, uh, Mr. Michael here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use trigonometry to answer some application type questions. Um, first of all, we'll get straight into it. We're looking at angle of elevation and angle of depression. First, the angle of elevation is measured up from the horizontal. So in this diagram here, if an individual was standing on the ground here and looking at the top of that building, the angle of elevation would be this angle in here from the ground level to uh, the line of sight, the top of the building. Angle of depression is measured down from the horizontal. So in this case, if the person was standing at the top of the building, uh, looking down to a point at the bottom of the building, then the angle of depression would be from the horizontal downwards. Okay, this is one that a lot of people make a mistake. They actually um, measure the angle in between the building and that line of sight. It's measured from that horizontal line down to that line of sight. Okay, so angle of elevation, angle of depression. Um, and that's pretty much all we need to get into the first uh, example here. It says here a helicopter is hovering at an altitude of 100 and sorry 250. I'm zoom in a bit more. 250 meters, and the angle of elevation from the helipad to the helicopter is 35 degrees. Okay, you can see that there. Find the horizontal distance of the helicopter from the helipad to the nearest centimeter. So it's actually giving us a diagram and telling us actually what side we need to work out. So in this case, it's actually pretty easy. Start by drawing your right angle triangle. Okay, following the steps from previous videos. Uh, let's call this horizontal distance x. Height is 250 meters. And the angle of elevation is 35 degrees. Next step I do is to label the sides hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. Starting with the hypotenuse, which remember is opposite the right angle. So that would be hypotenuse. The adjacent side is the side that joins the angle of reference and the right angle, so we label that with A for adjacent. And the opposite side is opposite the angle of reference, or the last one there, so label that with the O. Next step then is to determine what ratio we're going to use. Now, um, we have an unknown here with A and a measurement here with O, so we're actually using those two sides, A and O, or adjacent and opposite, so we don't need... In this case, the hypotenuse. So what ratio has O and A attached to it? It is the tangent ratio. Sorry, I'll scroll back out a bit now. Um, so tan theta equals O over A. And you'll actually notice that most of the application questions you do will use the tan ratio. Not all of them, most of them, simply because you know, it's easy to measure the horizontal and vertical distance. A bit harder to, to measure the high point. Anyway, um, once I've determined what ratio I'm using, then go ahead and substitute the information from the problem or the diagram into that ratio. So rewrite that ratio. It's then 10, 35 equals uh, 250 over x. So Instead of O, I'm using 250. Instead of A, I'm using X. Um, and then solve algebraically. In this case, um, I'm just going to swap the tan 35 and the X over. If I was to solve it algebraically, I'll have to times both sides by X and then divide both sides by tan 35. Whoops. 250 over tan 35. Um, but yeah, just. Uh, simple uh, way of doing it if you're at this point and x is the denominator, just go ahead and switch x with the left hand side, your whatever ratio and angle you've got. So on your calculator, you can just work that out 250 divided by 1035, which equals 357.03. Point zero three seven meters. I think it says to the nearest centimeter. So we're actually going to round that to two decimal places because this is in meters. So x is equal to three hundred and fifty-seven point zero four meters. Okay, or three hundred fifty-seven meters and four centimeters. Okay, that's it. 
Second example here is a little bit different because I think I'm going to be asked to work out the um, angle of elevation there. So question is two vertical buildings, 57 meters apart, uh, 158 meters and 237 meters high respectively. Find the angle of elevation from the top of the shorter building to the top of the taller building. Correct to two decimal places. A little bit harder because there's no um, diagram given to us in this one. So I'm going to start by just drawing a rough sketch of that problem and then getting the triangle from it. So in fact, I might color code it with the building. So I've got a building that is let's see, red, 158 meters tall and I have a building that is 237 meters tall, so a little bit higher. And the buildings are 57 meters apart, so let's use a different color for that. Orange. So the distance between those two buildings is 57 meters. And it's asking us to find the angle of elevation from the top of the shorter building, so the top of the shorter building, uh, to the top of the taller building. Okay, the top of the taller building, correct two decimal places. So we want to find the angle of elevation from the top of here to the top of here. All right, and from this diagram with my two buildings and the distance I've got in between them, I need to find a right angle triangle to draw. Now, hopefully, these buildings are. Um, 90 degrees to the ground, they're perpendicular to the ground, which will give me a nice right angle. I'm actually going to use this, in fact, let's change up the color one more time to find this is the right angle triangle I'm going to use here. Okay, and this height here will be the difference between the height of these two buildings. So this measurement here will be 237 minus 158. Which, so I make a mistake, do that on the calculator, gives me 79 meters. So if I go ahead and draw a right angle triangle based on that now, I have 57, seven, oh, sorry, 57 meters down the bottom, 79 meters uh, on the side here, and the angle of elevation is what I'm being asked to find out. So from the horizontal, this is my angle of elevation. That's what I'm being asked to find out. Okay, now I have my right angle triangle. You can see that's a little bit more in process. I need to go and label those sides. So again, start with the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. Then I do the adjacent, because that joins the two angles. And then the opposite is the last side, or opposite that angle of reference. Okay, again, what ratio am I going to use? I'm dealing with measurements on the adjacent and the opposite side, so I don't need the hypotenuse. I'm just using A and O. Again, that's the tan ratio. So if you write that in, remember it's O over A. Substitute your values from this diagram into that ratio. So tan theta equals, in this case, 79 over 57. Okay, in this case, it doesn't matter that my denominator is smaller than my numerator. Uh, in the other two ratios, in the sine and cosine ratios, you'll notice that the denominator will be bigger only because the hypotenuse is the de uh, denominator. Um, in this instance, the adjacent can actually be shorter than the opposite side. Anyway, that's a bit of a side note. So, at this point, I'm going to solve it algebraically. Um, and if you've seen my last video, the opposite operation here is to uh, use the inverse operation of tan. So inverse tan in brackets 79 over 57. And you can literally just pop this into your calculator. What I've got there on the right hand side of that equation. So the angle or theta, the unknown angle, is equal. So, and remember to get that again, press shift and then the 10 button in the calculator. See the little uh, minus one, that means we're using the inverse operation. Um, and it was 79 over 
57. Close your bracket. It gives me 54.188 degrees. It says correct to two decimal places. So I'm going to say that it is equal to 54.19 degrees. Uh, and that's it, guys. Uh, using trigonometry to solve application type questions. If the diagram is already given to you, that's great. Draw a right angle triangle from it and follow the process. If there is no diagram given to you, you know, try and you know draw it down, draw a rough diagram of what they, they're telling you, and then determine where the right angle triangle is from that. Or you can just do that in your head and actually draw that right angle triangle, uh, making sure you know you work out the correct angle in this case. Okay, angle of elevation is measured um, upwards from the horizontal, if I was being asked to calculate the angle of depression, it would be downwards from the horizontal. Okay, uh, hopefully that helps and thanks for watching.